Hey guys, Grant here. Today, I'm going to return to the CD shelf because my CD collection has updated a whole lot. Um, I believe it was nine months ago I made the original uh, CD collection video and I made a few, um, I think my last update on it was, uh, I wanna say April, but it has grown since then a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys um, the updated collection. Also, um, the channel, ever since I hit 100 subscribers, has be uh, the sub count has been growing at a, at a very alarming rate. So uh, thank you. I really appreciate all the subs, the likes, the comments. I'll continue to put good stuff out there. Um, I got an album in the works, and I have a, uh, a short film that I'm working on. So yeah, just keep an eye out for those two things. But yeah, love making content for you guys, and I will keep doing it because... My sub count's growing, which means it's obviously getting some good reception. So anyway, here's the CD collection, and we'll start at the beginning. Same one that we started with last time, two box greatest hits. Then we have ACDC, back in black. Let me take it out of it so you can see it well. I need to get more ACDC. Um, here's Adolescence debut album. Fantastic punk album. We got Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. Fantastic album. Alice Cooper, Trash. Then we have the two Alice in Chain CDs. So we have Facelift and Dirt. We have uh, Anthrax, Among the Living. Also, I'm seeing Alice in Chains live next month. I cannot wait. Um, we have Event Sevenfold, City of Evil. Bare Naked Ladies, Stunt. The Beatles, of course, their hit album, Abbey Road. Bjork, Post. My only Black Sabbath CD at the moment, Master of Reality. Blind Guardian, Nightfall of Middle Earth. Blink-182, Enema of the State. We have Cell Dweller's debut album, one of my favorite electronic albums ever made. It kind of mixed new metal and electronic music. We have Coheed and Cambria, uh, Good Apollo, I'm Burning Star 4, Volume 1, th From Fear Through the Eyes of Madness. Very long title name, a very long title. Children of Bodom. Hate Breeder. Might be my favorite death metal album ever. Children of Bodom, Are You Dead Yet? I love, love Children of Bodom. We have Daft Punk, Discovery. Um, I need to get more Daft Punk. We have David Bowie here, uh, Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Great album. We have Death, The Sound of Perseverance, their last album they put out. This is the 2007, uh, no, not 2007, 2011 um, remaster, which is, it was just a great remaster. They redid the album covers, so, and it looked great. Um, Def Leppard, Hysteria, I'd like to get Pyromania as well. Deftones, Around the Burr. Depeche Mode, Violator. Uh, Dio, Holy Diver. DMX, and then there was X. We have The Doors debut album. Break on through to the other side. Uh, great album. Um, Dragon, well, here are the four Dragon Force CDs from last time. So we have Valley of the Damned. Sonic Firestorm. Inhuman Rampage. And my personal favorite, Ultra Beatdown. We got some Dream Theater here. So we have When Dreaming Day Night, their debut album. That is not on streaming, sadly, because it's a very underrated album. Then we have Images and Words. They're uh, arguably their most popular album. It has the hit Pull Me Under on it. And then my favorite prog metal album ever, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory. We have Dropkick Murphys, The Warrior's Code, and I forgot to take the price tag off that I need to do that. I love Dropkick Murphys. Evanescence, Fallen. 
Faith No More, Angel Dust, Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, Foo Fighters, The Color and the Shape. I've really started to get into Foo Fighters and Nirvana again after reading Dave Grohl's new book. Uh, Glory Hammer, Space 1992, Rise of the Chaos Wizards. Try saying that five times fast. I don't listen to them anymore because of all the all the controversy that's come out around about the band members. So I don't listen to a lot of Glory Hammer much like I used to. Um, here we got Gojira from Mars to Sirius. Great album. Gorillaz debut album. I love Gorillaz. We got Green Day, Dookie. We got American Idiot by Green Day. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, their debut album, and their best album. Here's Gustav Holst, uh, The Planets. I love Gustav Holst. He's one of my favorite composers ever. We have Halloween, or no, Halloween, Keeper of the Seven Keys, Part 2. Uh, definitely the album that, definitely the album that, like, put power metal in, into the spotlight we got iron maiden number of the beast we got iron maiden uh power slave and then we have senjutsu their new album we have jethro toll aqualung judas priest painkiller kiss destroyer this was the squeaky CD. I wonder if it still squeaks. Yes, it does. Some things never change. Corn, follow the leader. Yeah, okay, I'll stop. Uh, Lamb of God, Ashes of the Wake. Led Zeppelin 4. All right, that's row one. Let's go down the row two. We have Light Wave, Cantus Umbreras. They're kind of, uh, Cantus Umbrera, I mean. They're kind of like a very, like, avant-garde, uh, ambient-style electronic band or group. Uh, and they recorded this album in a cave, so that's pretty cool. Found this album at G-Fest. Uh, Limp Biscuit, Significant Other. Linkin Park, uh, Hybrid Theory. Here's a pretty good underground band. Lost Horizon, A Flame to the Ground Beneath. No Fate, Only the Power of Will. That's pretty cool. We have Marilyn Manson, Mechanical Animals. Mastodon, Leviathan. Uh, Megadeth, Rust in Peace. And one more rep, Megadeth. Uh, uh, what's it called? Countdown to Extinction. Then we have Meshuga, Abzen. And yeah, here's the album cover inside of it. Very bloody. And a really hard hitting album. Like, geez, that is one heavy album. Like, dang. Okay. Now we get to the Metallica CD. So we have Kill Em All. Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All, and uh, the self-titled album, also known as the Black Album. Now let's switch gears a bit from metal to pop. We have Michael Jackson's Thriller. Just a masterpiece album. Love it. Should get bad as well while I'm at it. We have uh, Ministry, Psalm 69, great industrial album. The Misfits Collection. I'd love to get one of their studio albums as well. I love The Misfits. One of my top five favorites ever. Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. Motorhead, Overkill. My only Motorhead album at the moment, but I hope to change that soon because I adore Motorhead. Muse, Black Holes and Revelations. With the rockets through the universe. Okay, uh... My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. Great album. Nightwish, Oceanborn. Oh, and I forgot to mention this about the My Chemical Romance CD. I love the artwork inside of it. Very nice. Of course, this album, this artwork's iconic, but like, this is just really nice. And I 
think yeah it, it goes into the booklet it goes into the booklet as well though it's a big picture which is really cool um we have nightwish oceanborn nine inch nails debut album pretty hate machine nirvana never mind again ever since reading i read D dave Grohl's book i've really gotten to nirvana again very no very nostalgic band like just I've, I've been listening to, to these songs for so long but i never really get tired of them they always remind me of good times the offspring smash on our album another album like that but i don't know the nostalgic albums also helped me also got me um got me through a lot of bad times so it kind of reminds me of good times and bad times very bittersweet when listening to albums like never mind um uh, here we go here's a little change up opeth uh ghost reveries a little bit of prog death we have ozzy's debut album the blizzard of oz for a solo album pantera cowboys from hell pantera uh vulgar display of power I'm hearing a lot of mixed things about Pantera reuniting. Um, I'm probably, I, if they come to America, in which they probably will, um, then I'm definitely going to want to catch uh, one of their shows just because, I mean, come on, you're hearing Pantera songs live. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we got Pearl Jam, 10, their best album. It's like they just, that was their, they came out with, they came out with 10, just never topped it. Um, a Perfect Circle, 13th Step, absolute masterpiece of an album. Speaking of masterpieces, here's Dark Side of the Moon. We have Primus, Sailing the Seas of Cheese, very odd album. And then we have the Queen Greatest Hits Collection. These were the first CDs I ever got. So we have Greatest Hits 1, Greatest Hits 2, and of course, Greatest Hits 3. Yeah, I love Queen. My favorite, they're my favorite band of all time. And yeah, you just can never go wrong with Queen. They're just great. We have OK, uh, Radiohead, OK Computer. It's a very somber sounding album. Rage Against the Machines debut album. Rammstein, Sen Sucked love i love romstein i need to go to a romstein show rancid and out come the wolves uh it's a toss-up between this and famous monsters for my favorite punk album ever or uh fresh fruit, fruit for rotting vegetables by dead kennedy's one of those three red hot chili peppers californication rhapsody of fire dawn of victory but this was back in the day when they were called rhapsody it gets really confusing because when you want to listen to them on spotify He's got like everything, like you got okay. So like every all their albums like before like oh four ish are on um are under Rhapsody, and they they are classified as like two different artists on Spotify. So if you want to listen to any of Rhapsody stuff like from the mid two thousands onwards, you have to look up Rhapsody of Fire. Like they're two completely different bands. It's pretty odd. But I guess it makes sense because I've used Spotify's system when publishing music and it. It's very sensitive about the names of the band. But like, why couldn't they just put all the albums under Rhapsody? Anyway, it's probably the record label. Anyway, here's enough of what I'm rambling. Here's Rob Zombie, Hell, Hell Billy Deluxe. I saw Rob Zombie live in July, and he was just amazing. Um, Rush, Moving Pictures. I love Rush. Sepultura, Roots. Never mind the bollocks. Here's the Sex Pistols. Susie and the Banshees. Tinderbox. I love Susie and the Banshees. Best goth band ever. Slayer. Rain and Blood. Slipknot's debut album. Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses by Slipknot. She get Iowa as well. I love Slipknot, though. Uh... Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, Very Big CD, two discs. Sonata Arctica, The Days of Grace, pretty underrated album. Soundgarden, Super Unknown. Static X, Wisconsin Death Trip, 
I love this album so much. Um, I saw them live. Uh, they were one of uh, the openers for Zombie. And oh my gosh, they're so good live, even with Zero now. Of course, Wayne Static unfortunately passed away, but you know, I think they're, they're, I think Static X's reunion is a good tribute to him. And I mean, Zero is just a great vocalist. But yeah, um, yeah, just Static X, they're so good. They have such, they have so many good songs. This whole album is like a, just a no skip album. You can listen to the whole thing, and it's just amazing. Wayne Static's vocals are legendary. A lot of versatility in his vocals. Then we got Stradivarius, Infinite. I am hunting high and low. Oh, so good. Sticks, The Grand Illusion. All right. Then we have some stuff, a little, little bit of stuff down here. So we have Sublime's uh, Sublime self-titled album and their last album before they split up. Another no-skip masterpiece. Here's another no-skip masterpiece, System of a Down, Toxicity probably get their debut album too but i love system of a down tenacious d the pick of destiny uh testament practice what you preach tool lateralis so here's the the case or the album cover that we all know and love it's amazing this is another no skip album for me just 10 out of 10 yeah, I love listening to a whole album based on the Fibonacci sequence. It's just great. Can't stand math, but it's cool when Tool does it. All right, we have Typo Negative, October Rust. Let me get some more Typo Negative. U2, Actung Baby. Very underrated album. Van Halen, 1984. The Who, Who's Next, and last but not least, Wu-Tang Clan, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. Um, Disintegration by The Cure is coming in the mail very soon. So is Queensryche, Operation Mindcrime. But yeah, here are the CDs right now. They've grown a lot, but that's not all. I have uh, one more thing to show you guys. That's right, I'm going to show you all my cassettes. So I started collecting cassettes recently. So the collection's not too big, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll show you guys what I have so far. Oh, and the records, we're going to have to get to those another day. Um, anyway, so we have Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill. Pretty good album. Guns and Roses, Use Your Illusion 1. And then with that comes Use Your Illusion 2. And then we have Thriller again. Because it's so good, you have to have it on two formats. Oh, and if that's not enough, you got to have the vinyl version, too. I should figure out, I should find out to see that, that they made it on 8-track. Then I can get it on there. We have Primus Pork Soda, my favorite Primus album. Uh, Queen Greatest Hits. Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. REM, out of time. Here's, oh shoot. Here's Warlock, Triumph and Agony. Weird Al Yankovic, even worse. Previous owner wrote on the booklet a bit. And White Zombie, Lost Exorcisto, Devil Music, Volume 1. So yeah, there are my cassettes. Those are my CDs. And once again, I'll get to the vinyl soon. But yeah, um, I will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Goodbye.